Today, we're going to talk about how to properly cast out demons. Welcome to the mountain of fire, home to the spiritual incline. I made a video a few some time ago, and uh, and I mentioned about doing a video on how to properly cast out demons. So today, I'm doing make I'm doing follow up to that. And um, casting out demons is is uh, usually we all know the recipe of it. You know, it's a simple prayer. You know, it's based on the authority that Jesus Christ gave us in uh, Luke chapter ten, verse nineteen. It says, "Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpent and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by no means hurt you." So here we have the authority given to us. By Jesus Christ in His name, and by experience, I came I came to realize that the binding prayer I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ doesn't do it all the time. It's basically sometimes some demons are more wicked than others, and I come to realize that there is an order to it, and not only an order to it, but also while casting out a spirit. We have to, re to realize that we did something. If we didn't do something, our parents did something. Well, some down the line, somehow, a permission was given to that demon to enter in our life. Let's say, let's call the person who's, uh, who needs deliverance. Let's call him a patient. And um, let's say the patient went and, and wanted to be part of the gang and got jumped on to be part of the gang. So he bled. That blood is considered as a blood contract between him and whatever spirit he's going to contract at that point. So once the patient comes to his senses and says, okay, I don't want that, don't want that spirit in my life anymore. In order to cast them out, he will have to break that contract, that blood contract, whatever he had between him and that spirit in order for that spirit to go. And sometimes it goes deeper than that. After casting out the demon, it's, it's really, it is encouraged to follow up with claiming back whatever has been tempered with damage or stolen. So it's, it's not just uh, the phrase or the prayer just casting out in the name of Jesus Christ. Shouldn't be just where it stops. Eh? It has, there is a continuation to it, you know, to break all the contracts, the alliances and uh, the, the bars and whatever prison and and claiming back everything that has been stolen. But coming back to the order, the first order of a deliverance, of casting out a demon, is love. Love God with all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. We all know that. And then the second is second commandment is to love your neighbor as, your, as yourself. That, in, that includes yourself. If you don't love yourself and you don't love the patient, when it comes down to uh, fasting, you're going to be quick to give up because Holy Spirit might require you to fast one, three, uh, 12, 21 days, 40 days, depending on the, on the requirement because some spirits will require that their name be called and they will not give you that name. And Holy Spirit has to intervene for you to get that name. And sometimes up, obtaining that name is where the challenge lies in. And sometimes we need to, to fast and pray to obtain that name and then cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, after we, are, after we pass the first order of love, the second order is to follow Holy Spirit, whatever Holy Spirit says. Because let's say somebody is addicted to a cigarette, for example. And then with his mouth, he cast out the spirit and then turn around and keep on smoking. Well, that spirit's going to tell you that the person is still listening to him. So the person gives him the right to stay in him, which means the person has to stop listening to the spirit. And sometimes the spirit wants the proof that the person doesn't want him to stay. And that proof can include... Uh, something the person is doing. It can include something physical that the person picked up somewhere in a representation to the spirit, or it can, it can 
simply mean a phrase or something the person called upon themselves or the person got himself involved with something somehow called that spirit voluntarily in his life and that need to be called out and broken in the name of Jesus Christ. So it's, it's a lot of detail involved in how to cast out a spirit. Sometimes the demon can identify themselves as the principality that they're running, that they're running under. For example, addiction to cigarette. That's a principality. And that name could be used as an identification. And sometimes they identify themselves as such. So when you call the name of uh, addiction to cigarette, it identifies them and you can cast them out through that. But sometimes that is not enough. That requires you to get the proper name. The first order is to love. And then the second order is to listen to Holy Spirit. And once, once we follow that order and then use the, the binding prayer properly and claim all we have to claim and things should go back to normal. I mean, the, the demon should go in the name of Jesus Christ. But also remember that uh, sometimes the spirit can come back. When the person relapses, the spirit comes back again. So, and they don't only come back uh, alone, they come back strong. Which means, once we get up to clean ourselves again, we have to uh, make sure we even go uh, an, another step further to even clean up again. That concludes our uh, topic on uh, how to properly cast out a demon. I hope I covered the possible angles and uh, more details will be given in one of my gospel tracks that I wrote. And I will give a link to uh, in the description box. So feel free to download it for free and, uh, and uh, read it. I'm Pastor Dijoni. And if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, activate your notifications so you don't get to uh, miss out on our future exciting videos. And uh, until next time, may God bless you. May God keep you. Thank you for watching.